Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video we will talk about Gemini Live and how you're able to interact naturally just by having conversations and you're able to interact with Gemini Live with not only just your phone screen of whatever you show it, you're able to ask questions like how you're able to improve a, a photo to make it look better or what is this math problems answer or you'd be able to interact with it with your cameras. So if you're trying to maybe take a selfie, you can see if this is like a good angle or good lighting or does this just simply look good or you can point it with the camera away from you and be like what tree is this what toy is this what does this shirt say uh, what type of dog is this uh, what's going on with my backyard there's so many things that you can do with it now I just got an email today from the Gemini team letting me know that this is now available to everybody now I've been a part of a beta of this I was able to do the camera portion of it for a while and they're able to just make it easier on the Galaxy S25 series but really you can do it on any phone so as long as you have a Android device that is running on Android 10 or after. Now, if you don't have Gemini, all you'd have to do is just go to the Play Store, search for Gemini. You're able to find it right here. So this is Google's assistant right here. I mean, it's super smart, pretty much can do anything that you want it to do. And once you have it downloaded to your phone, you can open it with the application there. And down here, you can just either ask it some questions. You can also go right over here, which is live. And for this option here, this is where you can start having conversations with it. This is where you can open up your camera and you can ask, hey, what is this? Right now it was on the, the rear facing cameras. Now it's pointing right here. You'd also be able to go right up over here and you can just share your entire screen. So this way, uh, this is where you're able to ask it questions. Like if you're looking at a photo or something like that. So let me show you what it looks like on the Samsung phone. When you press and hold the side key, it's gonna go right here directly over into the Gemini Live where you can ask it some questions so it can respond back. You have the option right there if you just want to open it up so it goes into the screen recording. Currently, it's not set up for a single app just yet, but hopefully maybe they can do that. Other than that, you'll just choose the option for entire screen, which we will do here in just one second. The other thing I do want to show you is that even on your Samsung phone, it was already pre-installed on the Galaxy S25 series. If you didn't know that, that's how if you press and hold on the side key over here, that's how it basically opens up. So for the first example, I want to share with you how you're able to use Gemini Live with Android answering a math problem that is, let's say, just on your phone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a math problem and I'm gonna show you two ways of getting this done. Uh, and I'm not gonna say anything at the beginning, but I'm just gonna pretty much ask it, what is the solution or what is the answer? And then you'll see what is happening. So the first one is that it's actually going to clip this image and then it'll actually show me everything it did to get the answer. So. What is the answer? To solve the expression dollar nine to So I hit on pause because he pretty much showed his work and gave the answer right here. And you do have to go in the order of PEMDAS, which is something that I have learned a long time ago. And as you can see, it's going through the full entire process to give you the answer of one. Now, if you don't need all of this and you just want him to kind of give you the answer, this is where you can do the Gemini Live portion where it's just looking at your screen and you ask it the questions. What is the answer to this problem? The answer to this problem is 12. Would you like me to explain how to get to that answer? I think the answer to this is one, but can you let me know if that is correct? That's not quite right. The correct answer is 12. Would you like me to explain how to solve it? Yes. Okay, let's break it down. We need to follow the order of operations, so we divide 3 by 1 third first, which gives us 9. Now the equation is 9 minus 9 plus 1. Subtract 9 from 9 to get 0, then add 1. So the final answer is 1. Okay, but the first time you said it, the answer was 12. You're right, I apologize for the confusion. The correct answer is one. I made a mistake in my calculations earlier, but I have double checked it now. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that right there was actually pretty funny. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to this image here and I'm gonna say, how can I improve this image? That's a fun shot of the kids sledding. To make it even better, you could try brightening the image a bit to compensate for the shadows. Cropping it tighter around the sledders might also emphasize the action and make them the main focus. Would you like me to suggest any specific editing tools or apps? Yes, how can I edit this photo? You could 
Start by tapping the pencil icon at the bottom of the screen to open the photo editor. From there, you can adjust the brightness and contrast to make the colors pop, and then use the crop tool to remove some of the empty space around the edges. Okay, what's the first step? Look for the brightness slider, which is usually represented by a sun icon. You can drag the slider to the right to increase the brightness of your image. Uh, this icon? Yep, that's the brightness slider. Drag it to the right to brighten the image. You can also fine tune the contrast and saturation with the other sliders to make the colors pop. Okay, how about that? How does that look? That looks great. The brightness is definitely improved. Now, if you want to focus more on the kids and their sled, you could use the crop tool to remove some of the extra space around the edges. It's the icon that looks like a rectangle with corners. All right, what do you think about that? That's a great crop. It really brings the focus to the kids. You could also try adjusting the contrast or saturation to make the colors pop a bit more. The sliders for those are next to the brightness slider you used earlier. Ooh. Is that looking better? Yes. The contrast adjustment looks great. The colors are more vibrant now. If you're happy with it, you can tap save at the top of the screen. Oh, and I want to show you one more example right here. So if you don't know exactly what fish this is right here, so I can just open this up. I'm going to go to share screen with live. I'm going to hit on start. So I'm going to have this keep going. Uh, and these are some really cool fish. So if I don't know what they are, I'm just going to state what type of fish is this? Those are some big rainbow trout. They're a popular sport fish, and they look like they're swimming in a hatchery or aquarium. Are you curious about fishing for them, or do you have any other questions about rainbow trout? No, thank you. So that's just a few examples of what you're able to do with Gemini Live, with asking just common questions naturally to your phone, looking at your screen together, getting answers for math or how to edit a photo to make it look better or what is something that you're viewing. Now moving on to using Gemini Live while using your phone's camera. So it could be your front facing camera, the rear facing camera. You could be trying to take a portrait shot. You're asking questions to see if it's a good shot or not. You'd be able to walk up to a tree and you can just ask your uh, Gemini Live, what type of tree is this? If you see a dog, you can ask what type of breed is this? And pretty much all you would have to do here is just you wanna find your Gemini. And once you open this up, what you're able to do is you can hit on this live icon right there. And then with this one, this is where you go over to your camera. So this is just where you have your conversations in this screen here. This is where you're able to do the screen share and ask anything on your phone. And now this is where you're able to do it with your cameras of your phone. So right now this is on the rear camera. This one's now on the front facing camera. So I'm gonna cut to a video that I shot just doing just a few examples of using this feature right here. What do you see? I see a small dog on a doormat outside. What would you like to know about it? What type of breed is that dog? That looks like a Yorkshire Terrier. Tell me about what you see. I see a backyard with a gray shed, a trampoline, and a wooden deck. The yard is mostly grass with some bare spots. Anything else you'd like to know about it? Uh, how can I grow grass here? What should I do? To get grass growing there, You'll want to loosen the soil a bit and remove any dead grass. Then, grab some good quality grass seed. Scott's Turf Builder is a popular choice, and spread it evenly over the area. You might want to add a thin layer of topsoil too, just to help the seeds get established. Don't forget to water it regularly, and you should start seeing new grass in a couple of weeks. Is this a good shot for a photo? Hmm, the lighting is a bit strong, making it hard to see your face clearly. Maybe try turning so the sun is behind you, or finding a slightly shadier spot. How is this for a photo? The lighting is still a bit bright, which is causing the details of your face to be lost in the shadows. Try turning so the sun is behind you, or finding a slightly shadier spot.
Okay, how about this? This is better. The lighting is more <laughs> even, so we can see your face clearly. The background is a little busy, so you might want to try a different spot with a plainer background. How's this for a photo? All right, how's this? That's much better. The lighting is more even, and the background is less distracting. You might want to experiment with different angles to see what you like best. What's the nutritional value of this? Okay, a slice of pepperoni pizza. It's hard to say exactly without knowing the size and ingredients, but a typical slice has around 300 calories, 12 grams of protein, and 10 grams of fat. It also has a good amount of sodium. Are you tracking your macros? How many carbs in a slice of pizza? A slice of pepperoni pizza like that has roughly 36 grams of carbs. Are you tracking your macros? Yeah, what does the shirt say? Your shirt says, um, the element of confusion. It's a fun take on the periodic table. Are you curious about the design or the joke? So that is everything that I wanted to cover in today's video, at least for Gemini. There is this plus button over here that gives you more things like your camera, the gallery, the files, the drive, deep research, canvas. Uh, then you can actually just type something in right over here or you can speak something into here and get answers. So it's not live, you're just asking it the questions. It's prompting with whatever you are touching. This one right here is the live portion over here. So that was everything that I wanted to cover in today's video for this one. Uh, if you guys have never used Gemini, if you guys are new to Gemini, or maybe now you finally have the opportunity to use Gemini. Don't be afraid of it. It's very powerful. You can actually have a lot of fun. You can just walk around the house, point your camera at something, and just ask what it's viewing or how some area could be improved or how you can rearrange your living room. There's a lot of cool things you can do. So again, don't be afraid of it. Go out and try it. You can't break it. Uh, and who knows? Uh, you might be able to benefit from it. But if you guys appreciated this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.